Hey guys, Will here with Create Studio. And in this video, we're gonna go over the timeline inside of Create Studio 4. All right, so I've already got a video laid into my timeline here. And let's talk about some of the navigation features and how you can utilize them to speed up your workflow. All right, so in the bottom left corner, we have two sliders here. This first slider lets you zoom in and zoom out of your project. The second slider here lets you zoom to the uh, to the right of your project. We wanna see the entirety of what's going on down the timeline, then you can always navigate back that way. Um, in the bottom right over here, we have our fit to timeline. So say, I, for example, I was zoomed in all the way and I just wanted to kind of reconnect everything and, and see my timeline as a whole, I could fit timeline and then it nicely fits everything back into a visual scene for me here. Uh, from here, I can do full width of timeline. So if I click here, this brings it back to the full width. So then I can use my slider here and navigate down the line for any other um, scenes I may have. And then I also have the ability to adjust my track size. So the up and down arrows is your track size. And so right now it's set to large, but you can go to medium and you can even go to small. So depending on how intensive your, your timeline is, you can then consolidate your tracks in smaller so you can see everything so you're not so um, overwhelmed with the organization of it, right? But I'll put this back to large for now. All right, so over here in the top left, we have the ability to go, uh, if I click the left arrow there, it takes me to the beginning of my, of my track there. If I go to here, it takes me to the end. So I can kind of bring this in. You can see that here is the end. And then of course, play is the play. And then of course you can go frame by frame if I want to inch forward there, um, or if I want to go frame by frame back, right? So those are the options you have there. And here is your um, your timer on your, your, your timeline. So it tells you how many seconds or how many minutes you've got going on for your scene there. And then this is where you can add animations, right? So if I was to select this guy, click add animation, here is where I can add keyframes such as position, scale, opacity. So for example, maybe I wanted to add a uh, opacity animation here. So I could then click that and I can actually drag this to the start, right? So I can come over here, um, I can select this end one and then come over here under uh, properties and here's opacity. And I could actually maybe bring this to a hundred and I wanna start my first one over here at zero, right? So I can come here. So now I'll have a nice little uh, transition of a fade in, in a sense, to, to where that starts, right? And you can adjust this and tweak this, but you can also check out other tutorials that allow you um, to learn more about keyframes inside of Create Studio 4. Um, but from here, that is animations. We can also duplicate from the timeline. So if, for example, if I select this, click duplicate, that's a quick way to duplicate a track inside of Create Studio 4. Uh, we also have the cut tool. So maybe I was wanting to cut right where right after she puts the skateboard behind her head so I could find that point and then come over here and select cut and that will cut my track in half there um, so that I could either delete it or maybe insert something in between and then pick back up. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can utilize the cut feature. All right, so now our scenes, these are really cool. So I'm gonna open this up and what this does is it allows you to drag in pre-made scenes that we have within Create Studio 4 and put them straight into your projects. So you can quickly access them and incorporate them into your projects. So if I click on get scenes, it opens up our scene library and here's where I can choose from all of the different styles of scenes that we offer. And then from here, I can then choose one. So let's go ahead and select this user interface, for example. Uh, and then maybe I wanna use this guy. So I'll hit download and then it's gonna download that. And then I can click add scene and it says scene has been added. So now I can close this guy out and here it is right here. So all I need to do and as I can drag this to my timeline here or drag it down right here. And so now I have the ability to use this inside of my project, which is really cool. So that scenes is very powerful um, and you can keep adding to that and, and use it as you see fit, right? Now, if I navigate over here to the right side of the timeline, if I click on this guy, this is our grid. So it allows me to do stuff like action safe lines, right? Um, I can snap objects to, um, or snap two objects, I should say, snap to borders, um, snap to the grid. So just depending on what your preference is, you have those options right here in the grid section. We also have our guidelines. So here's where you can add guidelines, remove all or add if you need to. And then we have our shortcuts, right? So this, if you wanna quickly become more efficient in navigating around and make things faster for your workflow, go in here, learn some of these shortcuts and they will help you speed it up even more. It's really cool. And then we have um, undo and redo right here. Um, is really powerful inside of the timeline. All right, so that's an overview of the timeline inside of Create Studio 4. Hopefully you got some really good quick tips out of this. Can't wait to see what y'all create, and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial. Thank you.